Hello, my name is Abby and I'm an Associate Customer Success Manager here at Mixpanel. Today I'm going to be going through with you some of Mixpanel's data functions. To do that, I'll be using a fake e-commerce dummy data set. Right, so let's load up the event complete purchase here in the query builder. So here I can see um, the total number of complete purchases across the last 30 days. Now, actually, here's a nice time to show you some of the different graph visualizations. So at the moment, I'm online, but actually I can view this as a bar, pie, metric. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pop back up to bar here. Lovely. So from my um, total count here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at how many unique users have completed a purchase over the last 30 days. And here you can see that figure. So the, this is the unique count, so the unique um, number of users that have completed a purchase. Lovely. Now, of course, this is based um, around an e-commerce platform, but actually, let's say you worked for a media in the media industry. This here would be the total number of likes that um, a piece of post posted content received. And here, this would show you the unique number of users that like that content. Okay, fantastic. From here, let's have a look at the average purchases made by each user. So this is showing me, on average, each user completes a purchase just under five times. What if I wanted to view that not as an average, but actually as a distribution? What are most of my shoppers doing? Here you can see um, that as a distribution here. So um, most shoppers are completing purchase from around zero to six times. Fantastic. So we've looked at uniques, we've looked at totals. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, pop down to count users. This will show me the frequency. Um, this will show me the frequency of my shoppers. Um, and with this, you, with daily, weekly and monthly active users, you can see how um, your customers are engaging with your platform. Fantastic. Now, let's pop down to count sessions. Count sessions can be time-based or event-based. Just going to pop it back to bar. Um, and that actually is defined at a project level. So it's really valuable, or what will be really valuable to you and your team is to define what a valuable session is. And from there, you can understand what the user attention is like in those defined sessions. Lovely. So now let's look at um, the average aggregate property or average cart value, sorry, as an aggregate property. So this is showing me um, the value, the average cart value of my shoppers. And again, if I didn't want to um, see that as an average and maybe I wanted to see those um, upper and lower percentiles, I could do that here or even um, have a look at the, the maximum cart value for um, my power purchases. And at any time you can view these users here and once you've viewed them, you can create a cohort and share that with your team, share any interesting behavior with your team um, for future reference. Okay, fantastic. So from here, let's have a look at our last one. So now we're on aggregate property per user. So again, I can view that um, the average per user by sum, or I can look at that distribution there. So the distribution of, of um, that cart value as an average per user. Okay, fantastic. Thank you so much for listening. Please, if you have any further questions or you wanna see any more content from us, um, don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you.